Hi, um, I bought a picture for five dollars and I sold it for five hundred dollars on eBay. And there's another picture I sold for four hundred and ninety-five dollars. And there's other pictures I sold for like uh, on a hundred, hundred and fifty or fifty different prices. And and there are some pictures that they didn't really sell that high, and some sell that good. But uh, I think you'd like to hear about the ones I sold for a lot of money. $500 was the highest I ever sold a movie store picture. Um, and I usually put up a picture on eBay for uh, $9.99. But, you know, if uh, if a lot of people really like the picture, you know, if it's like some collectors, you know, then a lot of people start bidding against each other, the price is going to go up higher. And uh, uh, $500 is the highest I sold a picture. And um, this wasn't really... Um, dumb luck or a coincidence that I, I was able to sell some pictures at a high price because I, I did research on eBay to see which which movie stars were selling at a high price and also had a lot of bidders. You know, I wanted to see a lot of bidders because of, I want a lot of bidders bidding on my stuff to make the price go higher. You know. Yeah, actually around, uh, I don't do it right now and I don't think I'm a rich guy because I'm not, but I I made some money then, and I it helped pay the bills, but I don't have it anymore. <laughs> anyway, um, around 15 years ago, I uh, I sold movie star pictures on eBay. And when I first started doing it, I was thinking, hey, I'm a, I've seen a lot of movies. I'm a movie buff, you know. And it's usually the old, classic, rare movie star pictures that go for a lot of money. You know? So I... I went to some of these uh, Hollywood memorabilia stores, you know, and I I bought some pictures that I thought would sell good on eBay, and then put them up, and they didn't really sell that because they didn't sell that high. Some of them didn't sell at all. So I started, you know, looking on eBay. I mean, I'm going to sell on eBay. Might as well see what's selling good on eBay. See what's in demand on eBay. So, because there are some there are some collectors who, like. They can be from all over the country and in, in different countries that can bid on uh, on eBay. So there could be like uh, like a Marilyn Monroe uh, collector over here, and then another Marilyn Monroe collector, collector in another state, another country, and they can all see that on eBay and bid against each other. <laughs> I mean, if you go to those stores, they're not they're going to sell it at a a certain fixed price, but on on eBay, you have uh, collectors from all over the world that can look at it and bid against each other, so so it can go higher on eBay than uh, than at stores. And actually, that uh, that picture that I went for five hundred dollars, that was just a reprint. It wasn't what they call a vintage from that day. It was just a reprint, but it was a rare reprint. I mean, I hadn't um, I haven't seen that one on eBay. And then not that many stores sell that particular reprint. So, so uh, since these these collectors they saw that reprint, they didn't have it, and it was a good picture. They liked it, and they wanted it for the collection. So they they bid against each other. So the price went. I they had to, you know enough money. I guess they had high paying jobs. They had enough money to pay a high price if they bid high enough. Um, so. Uh, Anyway, back to the, uh, and, and I was, uh, sold a lot of those movie star pictures back then, and sometimes I was a power seller. If you sell more than a thousand dollars worth in a month, they call you a power seller. And, uh, like I was saying, eBay has these, uh, search functions that really help out sellers. They do things that really to help sellers. And if you look on eBay, look at all these uh, search functions available. You try to, because um, there's, there's thousands of stuff on eBay. You know, it helps if you can uh, narrow it down by using these uh, search functions to find these uh, high prices and a lot of bidders. And I'm going to, uh, I want to tell you about that in another video. So you be sure and look at my next video and I'll, I'll get into more detail about these, uh, how to use these search functions to find it. Okay. See you in the next video.